Hi, I'm Johnny Engineer Termel, founder of the new Popper Party of Ontario, and this, this is the 1982 Toronto Star article titled Immorality of Interest Led Man to Police Station, Ottawa Man is Held, with my favorite sign, Bankers Starve Third World Babies. So, that was 1982 when I was alone. And I don't think anyone's going to be bothering me with so many thousands in the streets today at October 15th. Occupy Toronto down Bay Street and King. restaurant donates up to 400 bucks worth of pizza to the protesters, they get 75% tax credit back next return. Okay? <laughs> if a pizzeria contributes up to 400 bucks of pizza, we give them a of our tax credit. It's legal now. Robin Hood's got a ton of I'm going to put it the party in the last election. And that allows any pizzeria to give my party 400 bucks worth of pizza to get a $300 tax credit. And I can donate it anywhere I want. And I said, if you get a pizza near your place, you can go home. You tell them put donated to the proper party of Canvas. It was the receiver of the pizza. By giving you boys pizzas. That's me getting in here. In 1982, being arrested, picketing the IMF World Bank in 1982. So I approve you guys picketing the banks for 29 years later. So we, you got a way to set your own machine up to support yourself in the revolution. All you got to do is admit you're poor like me, and you ain't ashamed of your history with the game of stats. Now, right, but in the meantime, we now got access to the sheriff's world. And all you got to do is join. Say I here's the pledge. I want no cops and gambling, sex or drugs or rock and roll, because I'm a professional gambler. I'm tired of being busted. So I and ugly people got a right to get laid. And do drugs should be with you and your doctor, not you and your cops. So if you're willing to give up prohibitions, and I want no usury on loans, no more interest on the chips, in cash or time, no deal. I got an account online. My time bank account on my Facebook page, where in 99, I went to 30, 11 countries, 39 nights out of 40, I paid with an IOU for a night back in Canada. Worth five hours. In France, they pay themselves 60 green francs an hour. In Germany, 20 green marks. In Canada, 12 green dollars. But between countries, we trade hours. Time bank. That way, automatically, the babysitting circle keeping track of hours can fit in with every other time bank overseas. So I traveled the world, paid with all your use for a night back in Canada with five hours. And now you can set up your account online, of course. And there's no reason anyone should be paying for hotels if you have an accommodation stay to be set up. You put people up, they put you in, and the list, and I'm building the list. So you have to pay for there. Just go to YouTube Popper Party, get my videos. Explains it all, including the leaders' debate to which I wasn't invited. So I videotaped it, I watched it, and I stopped it, and I put in my jokes for an hour. Okay? An hour and a half worth of slow politics and 45 minutes worth of jives. Bonjour. Okay. Remember my brother Max and I were in Charmin Lake. One of you was going to join the army? I was already in the army. I'm out of the army. Good man. Good man. Yes, sir. How you doing, man? I'm going to give you jobs at home. Harper's already got jobs in the army and in security and in jail. Yep. Anyway, that's a different story. Now, invite pizzerias to give us 400 and food for the protesters, and I can give them a tax credit. Hold this a second. And I can give them a tax credit for 300 bucks. So, and I approve of the demo. So, if a pizzeria or a Chinese restaurant or a falafel shop gives us 400 free food, to the popper party and we eat it, they get a $300 tax credit. 
So we're setting up constituencies associations everywhere because other parties can do this. But they're not interested in helping the poor. They're interested in stuff we can use. Print jobs, cars, you know. Me, give me 400 pizzas, I'll send it to the soup kitchen. And in the, if you go to YouTube for proper party and quotes, you'll find Dave Levac, the sitting MP, say, yeah, what I said, is it legal for me to say give me 400 bucks in pizzas for the soup kitchen? Here's 300. And he went, yeah. So, Robin Hood's got a pipeline in the sheriff's vault, and I can give tax credits to anyone who feeds us. So, the instructions are on the internet over at the Occupy Toronto 15 site. I put a post there, but that's printed out this morning. We only have a 50, 100 of those. Explain. Do you have any, or you think, any more of your DVDs kicking around? I, I had a copy and I, I, I lost it. You mean the uh, the one done by the two Brantford kids? One done by uh, Holy Mac. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I got one in my car, but that's pretty far away. Yeah, fair enough. There are some clips <laughs> online, nine of them. We are. So, oh, watch Robin Hood go now that I got tax credits. Hey, can I get your uh, about three minutes? I don't know. I don't know what, 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 well, just John Turner will find that? my home page and it's at the bottom. Hey, I got seven appeals coming up in the Ontario Court of Appeal on November the 7th. Oh yeah, how's that, seven. How's that marijuana loop when you got locked? This is the Terry Parker who won the right for medical people for epilepsy to smoke marijuana. Enjoy. This is Terry Parker, the guy who won the right for people to smoke medical marijuana in 2000. The Terry Parker. Yay, Terry! So... He helps me because I helped him, you know. Get, get, get the oldsters off the chemicals and onto the herbals, right? Get the kids off Ritalin and Prozac onto marijuana muffins. Okay, yes, sir. The rambunctious, give them two muffins. Knock them out for the weekend. Worst they can do is fall asleep <laughs> and regrow brain cells. Remember, University of Saskatchewan 2006 says marijuana regrows brain cells. That's why I'm so sharp and my opponents are so dull. My favorite line. <laughs> hey, I just had election number 75, Guinness Book of Records. 74 losses, one tie, they called it off. Otherwise, I'd have a perfect record. 75 losses for 75 elections, it's 74. So I got the right to give tax credits to any restaurant who gives us food. Go ask your favorite restaurant. Director. Go to YouTube Popper Party. See the videos where I tear apart the leaders debate. They didn't invite me, so I invited myself. Played their debate and inserted jokes. Hey, thank you. As the low-tech leadership said they had no money, but they wanted to help. And I got to explain the Argentine solution. You heard of that? In 2001, Argentina was broke. In 2006, all foreign debt paid off. How did we do that? It didn't make the news. The union said, you're not paying us off to pay us with winter bonds. And we can pay our taxes, hydro, medical, life duties. Everybody took it. Except the jobs, everybody brought more jobs. We got our debt. So we want to do provincial bonds paid to the unions too. The Argentine solution. Pay unions with provincial bonds. Like in Argentina. Hire more people. You can't have better service with less people. Only the orthodox parties tell you that. We're going to do cuts with more better service. So anyone can now go to their Facebook page, open an info page which says here are my offers, my wants, the hours I've given and the hours I've received, and you are now a person to person interest free time educator. So if you find Uniset, Unilets, because the time-based currency was recommended in Millennium Declaration C6 for a time-based currency. So, that's it. Your time is your collateral at this new underground bank. And you can see, but in the meantime now, in the last election, I got the proper party official status, so I can now issue tax receipts to any pizzeria or restaurant who sends us 400 bucks of food, I can give 300 of tax receipts next week. I can fund the whole anti-bank movement. And that's me being arrested, picketing the IMF World Bank. In 1982, when I was all alone, a block away. But they did adopt my idea 
provincial bonds made it work, and now I can say we should do it here again. So, we have our popper party status where we're going to YouTube for popper party to find the videos, including the leaders' debate where I couldn't participate, so I injected 45 minutes worth of my comments and jokes, and a uh, two minute explanation of what the Argentine solution is. So, that's it. Unions, rather than lay off the people, should actually hire more and pay them the small denomination bonds, even if they only take a percentage of the salary, it's still feasible more cash for the people. So, Argentina did it successfully, and we can do it too. And I'm here to spread the Argentine solution and say that my new popper party is willing to give tax credits to anyone who supports the anti-bank protest movement, because I used to be called Bank Freighter Extraordinaire. If you search for it, I come up. Thank you. All right. Yes, sir. I want the Argentine solution. Pay our unions with small denomination bonds. And that's me being arrested, IMF World Bank, 1982. A lot of you kids weren't even born when I was first arrested. You were not. God, holy cow. I was oh, all that gray hair I've earned, you know. I was first arrested in 82. You're a bragger complainer. <laughs> a block away. When I was alone! Oh, hey, you want some? I guess you're scared now, you, you know, with all you people here. Back, right? <laughs> we got your back. You, yeah. you, you got your card, I'm free. Hey, at noon, I'm going to pick I got a debate no in Canada, because right. I pick it in I got constitutional decisions, all I got. Yeah. And I pick it in the bank of Canada the Parliament for five years in the early 80s every Thursday, when they set the death rate. So, I love, I'm going to be back at noon and go pick at the bank of Canada again, like in the old days. Awesome. Yes. It would be an honor and privilege to go to jail. Yeah. Jail. Hey, in the G20, you search for G20, shake cop's hand. In G20, when I was walking around with my sign, a cop stood out of the line and asked to shake my hand. Right, Terry? Yep. He was there. Now, I'm not a protest obstructor who wants to tear down a fence. I'm a protest instructor with an alternative I want to offer. I come in my Sunday best and I want to get in and make my presentation. People who have no presentation don't offer me. So, join the guys with the presentation. Argentine solution. Strategic uh, yeah. I mean, it's nice to say I'm mad, that's what we want to do. I say Argentine solution. Electrical, but in my last year I took the mathematics of gambling. And I specialize as the teaching assistant in the mathematics of gambling course. So I'm now a professional poker player known as the Taj Professor. Or if you Google for great Canadian gambler, I come up. Oh, okay. So, put it this way. I'm the most famous engineer on the planet. I can tell people that because I can say, name me one famous engineer, and most people, not even engineers, can name me a famous engineer. Uh, 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 well, anyway, I claim I'm going to get three Nobel Prizes someday because I derived the equation for how inflation works. I'll give it to you in algebra in a minute. All right? Get this, Terry. Everybody buys in with their watches collateral at the pool house. They all borrow 10 liters of liquidity, dump it into the pool. But they all owe 11 liters at the pool house. Plus interest. Well, at the end of the game, Nine guys come up with 11, 10th guy gets squeezed out. Baker seizes his watch, resulting in the same 100 years chasing nine watches of collateral. I'm the discoverer of shift B inflation. I'm taught in economics, which teaches only shift A, more money chasing the watches. But I've discovered some money chasing less watches. And therefore, I financed the first time bank software that's my claim to fame for science. So I solved the riddle of economics. Interest causes inflation that doesn't fight it. And uh, I engineered the first time bank software. So, and finally, I ought to get
get a peace prize because if Yunus got a peace prize with his, with his Grameen Bank for micro loan sharking at 20%, why shouldn't I get one for macro lending at 0% based on your time as a So, here, I'm going to give you one of my flyers. My thesis is online. Big Mac. One word and it comes up. Uh, there, there are so many things out there no one's ever done, like a big lie of economics, my post and come up at all, shift the inflation. They'll teach up over here, but they won't allow you to talk about down over there. Wow, what's going on here? They only talk about up over here, but you're not allowed to talk about down over there. Taboo. And I discovered down over there. And I proved it in Argentina. Because when they got sure. Hey, you want to have a poem? Who wants a poem on how money works? All right. Well, you heard this poem in the car, right? Oh yeah. Back in all right now. This was even a young man that was in the army, and I said, "Don't go to war." I told him about my granddad, Adelard. He was 18 when they called up the first kids in the First World War. And the Abbe Leclerc tell the kids, this isn't your war, go hit the woods and hide out. So for three years, my granddad was a World War I draft dodger. Thank you, Abbe Leclerc, and I'm glad you didn't go. Much So here's a poem now about money. I hope I don't forget. And I usually have stuff. When you were little, did you ever dream of printing cash, filling up your wallet with some money in a flash? Creating money accurately means to have the plates. The stamping of some paper into notes best demonstrates, or stamping metal in the coins, or blips computerized into your bank account deposits, checks now authorized. So whether paper, metal, volts, and electricity, to have the plates is printing money absolutely free. Now if you printed it to spend, the others would be whale. They'd call it counterfeiting and they'd send you off to jail. But what if government would let you print it up to lend? with only what you can collect in interest to spend. If you can print and lend a thousand out at 10%, you'd make a hundred interest on printing that you lent. But if you could print out and lend a million bucks, you'd get an extra hundred thousand dollars for your fee on debt. If government stops using its own plates and comes to you, a billion printed nets, a hundred million revenue, with everybody being taxed to pay you interest. Of all the scams in history, to have the plates is best. Though never spending, only lending, riches do await to all who with the plates become loan sharks to the state. And though to join the few who thus be profit you might dream, wake up to see we're the victims of this greedy scheme. Though governments of old had treasury run money plates, without the interest of middlemen at rip-off rates. Most governments today, to banking industry, have lost control of money plates. So interest is now a cost. To service debt in 99, Canada's request, $300,000 million paid in interest. We're taxed almost $1,000 each per month to pay for interest the holders of our plates they gave away. So we abolitionists, we wanted the pauper party now. We want to get the plates back from the banks and have Treasury create the money for just a printing charge. And thanks, the interest we save would be split up, I recommend, for each to get a thousand dollars monthly dividend. As if you owned a share in the incorporated state, an income guaranteed for life, no question, no debate. So will you agree? that interest lent by banks should end with all that interest diverted to your monthly dividend. I bet. That's it. Okay. So right now the loan sharks got the government's plates and if we get them back we can divert all the money they're taxing us and keep it for ourselves. That's it. Well said. Thank you.
And that's the fight. I'm John C. Turmel, T U R F E L, John Turmel, Mayaroué de Rangosh, Pas Francais aussi, avec le Parti Pauvre de l'Ontario, with the proper party of Ontario. We're brand new, but now we got the right to get donations for 400 bucks for the pizza to hand up to the soup kitchens and give those guys restaurants 300 tax credit. So you watch us finance the poor with the government's own money. And I just founded the new Popper Party in Ontario. But I'm here pushing the Argentine solution. In 2001, they were broke. In 2006, they were broke. How did they do that? Well, rather than be laid off, the unions demanded they be paid in provincial bonds, small denomination as currency. Nobody lost their jobs. They hired more people. And in five years, paid off all their foreign debt. So I propose that we accept government provincial bonds in payment for our salaries too, so they can keep all our unions employed and hire more people to do good, useful stuff. And that's the Argentine solution. But because I registered as a provincial political party, I now have the right to ask for donations of 400 bucks a pizza for the protesters, and I'll give them a $300 tax credit to finance because I approve. So, I'm going to be doing this for poor people. I said during the last election, if a YouTube the Barber Party will get my videos, the sitting MP agreed I could tell any pizzeria sell 400 bucks worth of pizza down to the soup kitchen and here's 300 our tax credit. So watch me. Now, when I was busted in 1993 for running the biggest gaming house in history, I see it tomorrow, I don't know, 28 tables. The OPP called it Project Robin Hood. Is that yours? Now that I got access to the sheriff's vault to pass out tax credits to everybody on your next tax return so, who helps support the poor and the I'm down the rally down Bay Street. I'm doing camera work. Only in Argentina. I'm a protest instructor. I got an alternative. It's a good one too. Jesus and the Israel, that's what they beat up the bankers. All the different religions are against the long sharks. Not bad. Not bad. You can't shoot the long sharks. You can you can whip them. Jesus whipped them. So whips are okay for banksters. <laughs> no guns, no cars, no kids. Whips. I see you got the memo. Yeah. <laughs> But you're not going to hit off you, right? People? Yeah. All right, I'll go higher then. <laughs> <laughs> it's like holding it, see? Something should be done. Something should be done.
I wrote the book Play Home and 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 Home I do it in my head. I will. Have a good day. Oh, by the way, I was the professor at the Taj Mahal in Atlantic City. So if you Google for Taj Mahal, that comes up with my videos. That's one of my uh, my parents' favorite uh, casinos. Taj Mahal. Oh yes. Yeah. Well, I was. I mean, there are professors in every town, but I was the professor at the time. In 2001, I said, hey, I said, I'm going to go to No, I more jobs to get that's me being arrested at the INF World Bank Conference in 1982 when I was alone on the corners there. 1982. Gee, don't tell me I got the biggest sign. <laughs> Some people's brains aren't working, you can tell right away. Oh, so you just get away. Smoke like they can't think. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look in the eye. Oh, my arms are getting sore. Relax, take it easy, Ruby. Yeah, I should put it on my shoulder. Yes, sir. Everybody took them, so no layoffs, more people hired for government jobs. And the Argentine solution to me. The Argentine solution. Cops called it Project Robin Hood. And now Robin Hood's got access to us. That's the best line I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> Georgie Porgy. I'm talking about the Argentine solution. Take provincial bonds in your paychecks, like in Argentina. Found at the Popper Party at YouTube. Check it out. Hey Terry, if you go anywhere near the Bank of Canada, I'm gonna veer off because I wanna pick at them like I used to 20, 30 years ago. Good for you again. Well done. Are you helping Actually, we're the one.
promote the Argentine solution. If you YouTube the Copper Party, you'll find my videos explaining how in 2001 Argentina was broke, and in 2006 all their foreign debt was paid off. How'd they do that? Well, the Argentine Union said, no, 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 it's not like this. We can all look at small denominations and bonds. We can pay our hydro, taxes, medical, and license fees. And the governments did. Everybody took them. Nobody lost a job. They hired more people. They wouldn't have had debt. So, I suggest we, any entity that can issue bonds to get cash, should be able to issue bonds to get work. Just like Argentina did. So, and because we registered the Copper Party of Ontario in the last election, but I, need to, but I, I can need invite you anybody to get 400 bucks worth of pizzas and chips right, to get yeah. protesters yeah. to get a $300 tax credit back to the So, here are instructions on how you can find a pizzeria to give food to the protesters and get a 75% tax credit back. They busted my casino in 93 and they called it Project Robin Hood. And now Robin Hood's got access to the sheriff's vault to hand out tax credits to anybody who likes the Well, thank you. Okay. What's your name? John Turmel. I don't think and in the Guinness Book of Records. Yep. Running in more elections than anyone else in history. Losing more elections than anyone else in history. Yes. Can I take a photo of you? Okay. You know, I don't agree. I don't disagree. Whoa, 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 I'm not, whoa, whoa. I'm, yes. I can't subscribe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't subscribe to my single ethnicity to our enemy. Yes, this is the, you know, this is the one message I prefer. Yeah, yeah, just, well, that's I'm not saying that they are not broken. They're not actually. What I'm about? Yes, the Argentine solution. If you YouTube for Popper Party, which I found in the last provincial election, you'll find that Argentina was broke in 2001. All her foreign debt was paid off in 2006. How do you do that? So why do the Argentine, the Argentine Union said you're not going to pay us off. Take small denomination for their bonds. We can use to pay hydro, taxes, medical, and license fees. Everybody took the bonds. In town, no one was laid off. They hired more people. They paid their way out of debt. We should do like the Argentine unions did. Except small denomination financial bonds. We can pay hydro taxes, licenses, and medical risk. Is that your ideal candidate? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know, That's the ideal currency to put everybody back to work. Yeah. 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 Good job. The Argentine solution. We'll take bonds in our pay. Yeah, sure. If we can pay our taxes, hydro, medical, and license fees with. Hey! You take provincial bonds if you can pay your taxes, licenses, hydro. Right now, if you go to YouTube, I mean Facebook, you can find my bank account where I registered when I went to Europe in 99. I paid for 39 nights out of 40 with an IOU for a night back in Canada. Worth five hours. In France, they pay 60 grand francs an hour. In Germany, 20 green marks an hour. In Canada, 12 green dollars an hour. But between countries, between hours, time -based. So anyway, that's what's going on right now. I have a list of all my debts in time on my site. And anybody can do the same, and the bank is getting no interest. And that's what this is all about. That's right. You never saw the big picture. Let me take a shot. Project Robin Hood. I 
I just, I just waited for the party so I can get any pizza in and send 400 bucks for the pizza and the protesters and the theater. I saw that, man. Thank you so much. That's oh. great. Yeah, Very you watch. We'll be able to finance the whole poverty movement now. Watch us go. What'd you just do, sir? <laughs> I'm gonna come out of the party, which gives me the right to give any contributor to the world and give me some pizza. I could have pizza. If you ran out there and found a pizza and you send 400 bucks in pizza and gave me the sales slips, you'd get free. What's your name again? Right? I know Darren Mel, but. Thank you. Thanks, man. Good to see you, fella. Good. Here, check this out. I like to say I'm the most famous engineer on the planet. Then I say, then I say, name me a famous engineer, and, and nobody can. Can you? No, 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 no. Let me name me a famous engineer. Engineer. Buckminster Fuller's the only one I know. Okay, so that's the point. There are no famous engineers. The financiers put their names on the buildings. So I am the most famous engineer in the planet, if you think about it. <laughs> Johnny Engineer alone will find me. <laughs> anyway, sure. Bring all the religions together, you know? Everybody hates lawn sharks. Mind you, Jesus took after him with a whip, but Muhammad was not treat this way. Muhammad, he knows how to treat loan sharks. That's great, folks. All that stuff to get involved. I mean, like, I've got a way to finance the end. Take care, folks. See you there. Now, with government money. Well, I did an analysis of the banking system. If you look for the word bank math, one word, you'll find my analysis of grade 9 algebra to the class transformations to differential equations. My claim to fame, someday I get a new one. That's right. To run just like poker chips based on your label. It's called time to When I went to Europe, 11 years ago, I paid for 39 nights out of 40 with an IOU for a night back in Canada. Worth five hours. In France, they pay themselves 60 green francs an hour. In Germany, 20 green marks. In Canada, 12 green dollars. Between countries, hours. So I owe 195 hours for 39 nights in Europe. And I can put people on the back of Oh, I can do accordion concerts at all folks' homes for my hours. So if you go to my Facebook page, you'll find my listing of hours that I've contributed, hours I've received. I put in far more hours doing concerts at all folks' homes than I owe for accommodations in Europe. But if somebody from Europe calls me up, I'll find someone to take the Ryo human care. It's time barter with our worth as the collateral. In other words, a time standard of money. Instead of being gold that the banks want, a man is worth as much as gold. That's the revolution. Check it out there. The Argentine solution. All you gotta do is take small denomination bonds and paychecks to have enough money to hire everybody. Argentine solution. Look in 2001, all came off in 2006. How'd you do that? The union said you don't lay us off, you pay us with small denomination bonds we could use for taxes, hydro, medical, and licenses. still working for Nobody lost their jobs, they got more jobs, they got off their debts. Argentine solution. This is me. Argentine solution is what we're pushing here too. Yes. I'll take a moment, duck behind my sign. Yeah, they can do that. Who wouldn't take $10 Ontario bonds you can pay your hydro, taxes, medical, and license fees with? Argentina broke in 2001, all paid off in 2006. How'd they do that? Union said, pay us with bonds, don't lay us off. Full employment, we can do it too. Come on, you gotta have an alternative, it's nice to beef. But if you got no alternative, the Argentine solution. Who 
that's a poem. I'd like to hear a poem. The rich man poem. All right, Terry, get this one. All right. The rich man. Uh, how does it say? Now, this is a rich man talking. Okay? The rich man poem from my online poetry. Because I have a million bucks, I sit upon my stern and leave my living tranquilly for other folks to earn. For in some procreative way that isn't very clear, a million bucks will breed a hundred thousand every year. So as I have a healthy hate of economic strife, I need to stand aloof from it, the balance of my life. And yet with sympathy, I see the grimy son of toil and heartily congratulate the tiller of the soil. I like the miner in the mine, the sailor on the sea, because up to a hundred grand, they sail and mine for me. For me, their toil is taxed, and to the annual extent, according to the banker's law, that gets me 10%. So get yourself a million bucks in any way you can, and leave your future welfare to the noble working man. He'll buy you suits of Harris Tweed and Airedale in a car. Your golf clubs in your morning times, your whiskey and cigar. He'll cozily install you in a cottage by a stream. With every modern comfort in a garden that's a dream. Or if your taste be urban, he'll provide you with a flat. Secluded from the clamor of the proletariat. With pictures, uh, music, easy chairs, a table of good cheer. A guy can manage nicely on a hundred grand a year. And though around you painful signs of industry you view, why should you work when you can have your money work for you? So I'll get down upon my knees and bless the working man who offers me a life of ease through all my mortal span, whose loins are lean to make me fat, who slaves to keep me free, who dies before his prime to get me round the century, whose wife and children toil and turn until their strength is spent, that I may live in idleness upon my 10%. And if at times they curse me, why should I feel any blame? For in my place, I know they would do the very same. Though they talk of revolution on a Sunday afternoon, just offer them a million bucks and watch them change the tune. <laughs> so I'll enjoy my dividends and live my life with zest and bless the mighty men who first invented interest. Service wrote that poem. And I was so impressed I memorized it and stuck it to Canadian money. <laughs> now, my poem for my pauper party, two lines. We want no cops in gambling, sex, or drugs, or rock and roll. And we want no interest on loans. Pay cash or time, no dole. So we're in favor of time banking. You can sign up, work for the government, and get tax credits. Everybody works. Well, that's the Argentine solution. In Argentina, rather than be laid off, they said, you pay us in small denomination bonds. And we could pay for hydro, taxes, medical, and license fees. Everybody took them. Everybody kept their jobs. More guys got jobs. And they were paid off in five years, all foreign debt. We can do it too. It's called the Argentine Solution, and it's a disposal for a pop and party at YouTube. Plus, I got the right to I registered a political party in the last election. So if you give us 400 bucks pizza for the protest, I'd give them a 300 tax credit. Ah, so check us out.
these corner pictures here, that's me being arrested at the INF World Bank Conference in 1982 when I was along. Won't happen today. I'm here to push the Argentine solution. If you YouTube for proper party, you'll find my videos. But in 2001, Argentina was broke. In 2006, all foreign debt paid off. How'd they do that? The union said, you're not going to lay us off. We'll take small denomination provincial bonds. We can use to pay hydro, taxes, medical, and license fees. Everybody took them. No one lost their jobs. They hired more people, paid off their debt. We could do the same. Called the Argentine solution. You said you had a picture of yourself there? Did I get that? Yeah, that was 1982. Being arrested. But my banker started for no maybe sign. Lost it since. In 1982, when I was alone, now I'm here pushing the Argentine solution. In 2001, they were broke. In 2006, all foreign debt paid off. How'd they do that? Well, the union said, you're not going to lay us off. You're going to pay us with small denomination bonds. We can use to pay our taxes, hydro, medical, and license fees. Everybody took them. Everybody kept their jobs. They hired more, and they paid off their debt. You can't pay off your debt without working it off, and if there's no money, you can't work it off. So, we suggest the Argentine solution, paying people raises with provincial bonds. What would you say should be one of the main uh, issues that people ought to be focusing on here at this election? Paychecks for jobs. Looking for jobs without looking for paychecks is pretty useless when you can't have a paycheck, a job without a paycheck. So you've got to look at the creation of money and why there's not enough. And there's not enough because of what's called usury. Everybody borrows 10 new dollars into circulation. We all owe 11. And at the end of the game, mortgage means death gamble in French. At the end of the death gamble, one guy gets squeezed out and they take his house. So that's why we got to get rid of interest on money and run money like poker chips backed up by the collateral of human time. How do you feel about factual reserve banking and private banks being able to issue currency here? Well, I don't mind private banks issuing currency interest-free, like good poker chips. I don't care if it's Caesar's Palace, the Dunes, the Taj Mahal, as long as the chips are interest-free and you're keeping the collateral to back it up properly, you're doing it right as you're doing it now. So why would I want to ban the Dunes and the Taj from taking Caesar's chips when they're all doing it right now? If you could have one message, Set up a time bank account yourself, person to person, like I did at Unilens. So that when I tra traveled Europe in 99, I paid for 39 nights on a 40 with an IOU for a night back in Canada, worth five hours. In France, they pay 60 green francs an hour, Germany 20 green marks, Canada 12 green dollars. Between countries, we trade time, just like a babysitting circle. They can now get accommodations overseas too, if someone babysitted five hours for someone else. So go set up your own time bank account, search for Uniset, Unilets, Let's being the software, and the uni being the United Nations, and you can set up your own time bank account and join the underground revolutionary economy. Okay, my pleasure. Sorry. Not bad, eh? The Argentina solution. Would you take $10 provincial bond you can pay your taxes, hydro, medical, and license fees with? Who wouldn't? That's right, eh? And it's as easy as that to provide paychecks and raises for everybody. Worked in Argentina? We can do it too. What? They pay on smarter than us. I'm Johnny Engineer with the new Popper Party. And I want to tell you about the Argentine solution. In 2001, Argentina was broke. In 2006, all their foreign debt paid off. How'd they do that? Well, the union said, you're not going to lay us off. We'll take small denomination provincial bonds we can use to pay our hydro, taxes, medical, and license fees. Everybody took the new bond currency. All the unions kept full employment, hired more people. Everybody worked and they paid off their debts. You can't settle your debts without working them off, and you can't have a job without paychecks. And if Argentina 
can create paychecks to pay their people with small denomination bonds everybody can take. We can do it too. So go YouTube, Popper Party, and see my videos on the Argentine solution. Jobs for everybody too. Hi, I'm Johnny Engineer Termel, founder of the new Popper Party of Ontario, and this This is the 1982 Toronto Star article titled Immorality of Interest Led Man to Police Station. Ottawa Man is Held with my favorite sign, Bankers Starve Third World Babies. So that was in 1982 when I was alone, and I don't think anyone's going to be bothering me with so many thousands in the streets today at October 15th, Occupy Toronto down Bay Street and King. So that was my day down at the Occupy Toronto. And if you'll notice, I was the only person in a suit. And as a protest instructor, not there to tear down fences with no alternative, but there to offer an alternative, I wear my Sunday best because I want to get in and make a presentation. So despite all those interviews, let's see if any of them are shown with the only guy there in a suit talking about the Argentine solution. Sorry if I repeated it 15 times, but after this, if you don't understand how they saved their country, then you'll never get how we can save ours. So that was my day down at the Occupy Toronto. And if you'll notice, I was the only person in a suit. And as a protest instructor, not there to tear down fences with no alternative, but there to offer an alternative. I wear my Sunday best because I want to get in and make a presentation. So, despite all those interviews, let's see if any of them are shown with the only guy there in a suit talking about the Argentine solution. Sorry if I repeated it 15 times, but after this, if you don't understand how they saved their country, then you'll never get how we can save ours.